Hello, I am Ev Gara from McPherson Square Library, and today I'm going to show you how to make an anemometer. Anemometers measure wind speed. So we're going to make a device to measure how fast the wind is blowing, and this is what you'll need. You'll need one pencil, two straws, um, or you could also use pieces of cardboard, um, some small rubber bands, and five paper cups. All right, let's get started. So first step, with an adult's help, make four holes in one of the paper cups um, across from each other, just below the rim. And then um, we're gonna take the straws, we're gonna stick one of them all the way across through this hole and the other all the way across through the other hole. So you end up with this. Alright, the next thing you're going to do is also with an adult's help, poke two adjacent holes in the middle of each of the other four cups. Then, once you have poked holes in each of the four cups, you're going to use these holes to thread them onto the anemometer. So you're going to put it through one hole and out the other. So I have threaded all my cups onto the straws and let's make sure once more that all the mouths of the cups are facing the same direction. So next, once you have your anemometer like this, with an adult's help, poke a hole right in the center of the bottom of the center cup. Alright, once you have that hole in the center, take your pencil, eraser first, and stick it through that hole. So now we're going to attach our pencil to the middle of these two straws. Um, you can either use tape, secure it with rubber bands, or, if you do have a push pin and an adult's help and permission, you can take the push pin, stick it through both the straws and into the eraser of the pencil. So now that you've attached it in the middle, if you're finding it's having trouble spinning and you're using a push pin, you can loosen that a bit. Um, I find if you're doing rubber bands, it's easiest to attach it with two rubber bands, one on the pencil below the um, straws and one on the pencil above the straws. And you can test this out if you have a fan in your house, um, definitely on a windy day outside. And to help you kind of measure how fast the wind is going, you can take a pen and mark one cup. Then you can go outside and either on your own or with someone else, time for a minute and mark how many times you see the marked cup go by. All right, have fun.